We are back in Subnautica, and today could very well be the final episode of Subnautica. And, I mean, I've been tweeting about this all all week long, basically, that I'm blown away constantly by, by what this game has given me, what this game has done over the course of an, an entire year. That's also something I figured out, is that it took uh, almost one year to the day uh, from my very first time playing it to now so one year of gameplay isn't too too bad even though it wasn't like a year straight um, you can see that I did a ton of exploring and got some cool new things and I'm gonna show that off in a second uh, but I think we do have all the material needed at least <laughs> I hope um, to get off of this planet, go to the, put the final piece on the Neptune and take off. I hope we don't need to, like, collect tons of fuel or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I also got this little, uh, Aurora Rendezvous point on dry land. And it, it, I guess it points to the, uh, the alien island. Or not the alien island, the one I call Survival Island. The one with the Degasi sea bases on it. Um, and the funny thing is that, like, where I found... I went to the, first of all, okay, let me let me backpedal a bit and say to find, because to build the final piece of the rocket, if we look at my blue pl blueprints, I needed, um, where are the blueprints for the rocket? Here we go. I needed Cyclops Shield Generator. Okay? You can see that it's in there. And, of course, I hadn't found it yet. It was grayed out uh, wherever the Cyclops, ah, here, right here. It was grayed out. So, I, I did research, and you have to find it in an old wreck. There's no other way to get it. You can't just find the pieces. You have to get it an, in a data pod, in a data uh, box, at a, at a wreck. So, I basically explored the entire map several times over, once again. Um, lots of cool things, though, actually, came out of that. Um, there were several, uh, uh, data downloads with, with, like, voice logs. Like, they actually play voices now, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, like, they're, they're all, they're all sound logs now. I see, I didn't know there was actually a sleep system this entire time playing. Does it make it daytime? Does it make it day? What does this do? What? I think it's even more nighttime than it was. Basic double bed. I think it's even more nighttime than it was before. How long have I been asleep? No. Uh, okay. So, travel the lands, got that. Now, when I found, where I found the beacon towards the rendezvous point, it was basically, like, almost at that rendezvous point. So, like, if I hadn't found the island by then, you know, like, come on, guys, come on. So, it's kind of crazy that I've got uh, that beacon to the alien, the place. It's basically the same as, as uh, that one. Anyway, I found a little Corvette, a little Corvette toy. Um, has no purpose, of course. Just a little Corvette toy. I put this desk in here, chair in here. Um, let's see, what else? I also threw down a little bit of a... There's greenage in here now, a little bench. No purpose whatsoever. Just kind of was using up some materials to put some windows in here. Because uh, I didn't actually know that I could put windows in here. So it's kind of nice that you can. And I did. Um, I found another baseball cap, actually another two, but another type of baseball cap. Uh, looks pretty cool too. Um, and finally, there's actually a brand new crafting recipe that I'm going to make right now. I haven't tried it out yet. Okay, I need glass and I need a piece of titanium. Uh, wrong chest. Wrong, wrong locker. So to make this toy, and I think I'm actually going to put it near the bed, if I can. This is something I also found in the same place I found that beacon, by the way, and the and the race car. Is a, this. An unusual doll. Of course, uh, it's a bobblehead. 
and we all recognize it, of course, as Markiplier. Or at least, a very similar creature to Markiplier. <laughs> Can I use? Oh god, yeah, that's Markiplier. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. <laughs> That's crazy. It, it has the scan icon beside it. What? <laughs> Wait, it just gave me... It didn't give me glass. It just gave me two titanium. It ate up my glass. <laughs> but that's kind of funny that they put that in there. Where's mine, guys? No, I'm kidding. All of that aside, final episode. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start crafting what we need and what do we need. Um, we need... Okay, Cyclops, first we need this because I know that that's one of the ingredients. So we need an advanced wiring kit, polyaniline, and a power cell. So the polyaniline... What does that need, first of all? Polyaniline needs gold and hydrochloric acid. Well, how do we... Hydrochloric acid, we need three deep shrooms and some salt. Okay. So, thankfully, because deep shrooms you can find uh, in the Lost River area, kind of. Take some salt. Um, it was just one piece of salt, right? I better grab some more just in case. I'd hate to go somewhere else and not have enough. So, there we go. Uh, the deep shrooms are in just around the, the Lost River area. Uh, but thankfully, I do have some. I actually checked. One, two, three. We only need three. I had five. And then a piece of gold, which was in the same chest, I think. Yes. Uh, I think we need that for my... What do I need for the advanced wiring kit? Okay, well, let's make the hydrochloric acid, first of all. There it is. And then let's make the polyaniline. Okay. And then for the advanced wiring kit, we need a wiring kit, two golds, and a computer chip. For that we need, oh boy. Okay, computer chip, we need gold and two table coral samples. I wish I actually had, uh... Ugh, come on. I almost feel like I'm gonna need more of these. So I'm gonna grab a couple more, just in case. I always throw them in my... one of the lockers. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Um, oh, and gold, I think it needed again. Let's grab a couple more of these. Let's grab some of that again. I think we're gonna need some more copper in all this. So, computer chip. Um, what else? Wiring kit. Needs two silver and we need two gold, so... Okay. Pretty resource intense here. Intensive? Resource intensive. <laughs> Made that same... Okay. Here we go. Wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit. And now... What else? Power cell. Okay. So for a power cell, we need batteries, right? I think. I can't actually remember. This will tell me. Power cell. Two batteries and a silicone rubber. There we go. Easy to make. Power cell. Alright, just as I thought, and thankfully uh, I remembered that, uh, you do have to come to the upgrade fabricator in the Cyclops, because there it is, there it appears. I find it kind of weird that you can't do this from at least the mod station, the modification station. Um, it's it's really odd, actually, that we have to go all the way to the sub to craft the, uh, the upgrades for it. Um, but either way, we only need to do just this one. 
There it is. And now, all the way back, I think. What do we need now? What is the next step here uh, in building the cockpit area? Uh, where are you? Cockpit, there it is. So we've got the one thing. Plasteel ingot we can get easily. Uh, enamel glass we can get very easily. And then another computer chip we can get very easily. All of that will be uh, back home. But before we go all the way back home, I'm just going to quickly peek inside some of these storages uh, to see what, in fact, we've got. Oh, look at that. More deep shroom just in case, right? Oxygen tanks and some salt and all this titanium. I'm going to grab as much as I can. There we go. And now we'll head back. <laughs> all right, back in the base. Now, I am using up the very, very, very last of my lithium. Uh, I know that there is a spot to get more if I really need more. Um, hopefully, hopefully we're okay. Um, just to make my plasteel ingot here, I actually had uh, snagged two lithium when I was out looking for those data boxes, and thankfully I did because it so saved my butt just now from having to explore all over the map again. Um, blueprints, cockpit, I need enameled glass and a computer chip. So again, the enameled glass is a stalker tooth and some glass which is so easy to get. We've got an entire locker basically full of them. Um, and then we need glass. Okay, so glass we do not have, but can grab. My last piece of glass here too. We are <laughs> using everything up, using it up to the fullest. Never thought I'd need a stalker tooth again though, geez. Uh, and now a computer chip again, which needs copper wire, gold, and two table coral samples. I grab more. And, whoop, do I have gold? Whoop, where, where? There it is. Computer chip. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now I should have everything, right? Is this correct? I have it all? I do oh boy here we go guys here we go oh should we make it uh let's make it daytime again let's sleep again i wish they'd actually uh kind of interesting that they have a sleep system but they don't make it necessary um it also doesn't really affect my hunger or water levels which it should um but it would be interesting to, like, if you haven't slept in days, you go a little bit nuts, you know? Like, that would be so interesting. There we go. Just gonna pick some of these lantern fruits as well. Fruit as well. Okay, we're all good. Let's turn off that beacon just to make things pretty again. Uh, nothing I need there. I think we're I think we're good to go guys We're actually going to take off and leave this planet in this episode. It's happening. It's here Speaking of which the uh, The reef back is dead. I deleted him There's this guy But the other reef back dead um, I just I was actually getting like physically nauseous staying up there for any amount of time uh, so I took it upon myself to delete him from the game I know it seems <laughs> very extreme but honestly it had to be done for my own well-being um, so now this this is all I, I feel like I'm talking like I've said this before but the pad no longer spins it's in its final position the way that it'll always be. Um, let's go ahead and build the final piece here. I hope this is the final piece anyway. And as usual, let's uh, remove my HUD here so we can take a look at it happening. Really cool. 
expect music will play or something, right? Like... Neptune 1 rocket online. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay. Neptune 1 launch platform. Oh, we can actually change the colors of it. You know what? Let's, uh, let's make it sleek and black. You know, stripe. Um, let's add maybe a red stripe to it. Another red stripe to it. Name can be in done. Okay. Uh, nothing else that I can really control here. Ooh. 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 This is like something out of Fireball XL5. I know that none of you are old enough to even know what that means, but Thunderbirds, let's say. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm I'm having fun with this now. Let's turn that like that. Oh, yeah, there you go. There we go. God, it looks like something out of... God, I feel like an end of, like a villain in Star Wars flying this thing around. Oh, man. Let's also rename the, the, the ship as well. You might as well. Uh, and this time, we're actually going to name it... Uh, bye bye Because that's... <laughs> that's what we're saying to this planet. There we go. Oh my god, I'm just so nervous. I'm just so nervous. I'm also beaming, because like, one full year from the beginnings that they were, seeing how the game has progressed over that whole year, to think that this is even possible, that we can build this rocket with what we've got and get out of this place it's it's insane to think that this is possible. Oh, nice touch. Okay. Uh, may want to uh, close that door there. Beep. Hello? Beep. Oh, whoa, weird. Can I, like... Well, I'm sure the door will close on its own. Okay, so it has built-in storage. That's nice. Too bad none of the uh, shelters I built had that foresight. Um, throw switch. Auxiliary, auxiliary power unit. I don't know if I need to throw that switch. Communications array. Throw switch. Open here. Maintenance access, front panel. Storage. Nothing on this wall. Can I craft things in here? Like, can I craft... Can, could I craft a window if I wanted to? Uh, <laughs> the answer is no. Okay, can I... Now let's climb up and see where we go. Come on. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, we're on the bridge! Now here's the windows. Boot up the primary CPU. What? Is there a... A mat... Sensor below. Communications array, hydraulic system, power unit. Okay, so I assume that that's the order. <laughs> Why is it backwards? Why can't we just sit down? Why won't it let us sit? and see the systems. Like, that would be so cool if that let us do that. If we could just sit down here and then, like, see. But, uh, we can read it backwards either way. Life support systems are on, are offline. That's bad. I should probably work on those first, right? Um, time capsule is optional. I don't know if I'll do one, honestly. Um, I'd have to, I'm gonna save the game ahead of time. I might think about that after the fact. Um, because you need to put an item in, write a message, etc, etc. I think it would be easier if I did that without recording. Uh, primary computer. Okay. Alright. So. What this all means to me. 
prepared time capsule. Yeah, you see? This is a great idea on the developers, by the way. Um, you can choose like a, an image. Of course, like that might be mine. <laughs> yeah, that that should be mine right there, actually. And then uh, for space, you'd have like, geez, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would put in here. <sighs> Deep shroom. Like, you see, this is why, like. From humble beginnings. Check. Time capsule ready. There you go. Time capsule is ready. Life support systems. Life support Sweet. systems online. Oh, I love the computer's voice, by the way. I'm not saying that in, you know, like I'm attracted to it kind of way. I'm just saying that it's refreshing to hear a voice like that that isn't the same as the Cyclops or my sub or the Habitats. Okay, next up. Communications array, power, computer. Um, okay, boot this up. Primary computer systems active. Okay. So that's all this tier. The second tier, I believe, is going to be the the more interesting one because basically once we're we're good to go, we're good to go. And I think I may actually cheat here and make it daytime because I want to see myself blasting off in the day where we can see things rather than nighttime where you just it's everything is dark. So I'm gonna actually make it daytime if if it's not by the time we're done here. Come on, climb down. He's like. Struggles to climb ladders sometimes. Uh, okay, so power unit, communications, let's throw that on. Communications systems array active. Thanks, computer. Storage, I can throw one of those in there, maybe. Creature egg, because, I mean, that's actually a good thing to take with you. I mean, th think about it. Um. Hydraulic systems. Pressurizing hydraulics. Okay, that's always a good thing to do, I guess. Here's the. I I assume this is the the last thing. I'm gonna save it one more time. Let's save one more time. The door is now shut, by the way. Thankfully. Okay. Up we go. power unit. Online. All systems are go for lift off. <laughs> boy. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Let's make it daytime. Day. Wave goodbye to the Aurora. Bye, Aurora. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I can see it out here. Bye. Oh, I gotta say goodbye to my little life pod. Can I see it from here? My little life pod. There we go. There's my little egg base. Goodbye, guys. Oh! Very important thing. I forgot. And we can't leave the planet without... I gotta get out of here. I gotta open this up. We gotta get it. Um... Um... Um, we're sideways, by the way. Is there another reef back? I swear to God, if there is. Look at this. Look at this. Why is it sideways? Wait, why? Was it just me? Welcome aboard, Captain. It was sideways, right? All right. Before we go, one last thing. I need to go my to my my base here because 
There's a certain something that I want to grab from it, and I think you guys already know what that is now. Uh, the secret is out. Cat's out of the bag, so to speak. There's, there's the one guy. You can play with him. Hey, guy. What's up? <laughs> Let's say for well. Aww, we can save for well to him. Oh my God, we can say farewell to our pet. Oh my God, well, we won't have to say farewell for for long though. So, Come on, get me in there, get me in there, please, for the love of God. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. There's a voice I won't have to hear anymore. You. You're coming with me. Who needs to say farewell when you can just bring it with you? Climb our ladder. We're ready to go. Oh boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <sighs> Look at my time capsule again, one more time. Let's uh let's take that out. Let's throw in the Corvette. Let's just, it seems right. Seems right. Could oh, be cool. Can we put a cuttlefish in there? <laughs> Time capsule ready. Oh, my cuttlefish in hand. Let's make it day one more time. Let's save the game one more time. Let's launch. Engage. Can we say engage? Engage. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Engage. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettisoned. Nice. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Oh, there's the planet. Oh my god. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two. Goodbye, planet. One. Oh boy. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh my god. Was that the end? What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Oh, that's creepy as all get out. Well done. Well done, Unknown Worlds Entertainment. I loved that. And I want to thank everybody for watching. There have been well over, I think, 50-something episodes. We're up to about 56 here. Uh, thank you guys for staying with us, watching that. Like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things people do, including subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the flip side, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.